This is problem number three from section 2.4, and this problem it says, use the following function and its graph to answer parts A through D. You see we have parts A through D for this piecewise function here. And the piecewise function is graphed up to the right, which definitely helps for this problem. So we're gonna start with part A, and it says, find the limit as X approaches four from the right of F of X. Well, let's look at that, the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right. Well, as we approach this value of 4, which is right here, from the right, what's my limit? Well, I'm, as I come from the right, and remember I said to kind of point the arrow that way, as I come from the right, I'm getting a y value of 3. So this equals 3. The second part of this uh, part A, although it's not written here, um, is limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left. Well, as I approach 4 from the left, I also get 3 for the limit. Right? It's approaching the y value of 3 there. So I have the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right, and I have the limit of x of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left, both being 3. Well, I want to know, is this function defined at 4? So what is f of 4? Well, f of 4, if we go here, it says when x is 4, we get 4. So f of 4 is 4. Okay, so our limiting value is different from our value that we get when we actually plug the number into the function. This can happen uh, because if we have just for a function, uh, a random point that is um, that is defined, that is away from the rest of the function, then your limits are going to be different than your defined point. So when they ask you the question, does the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 exist, the answer is still yes. So yes, because the left and right limits are equal. And so we'd say the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x equals, well, what did the two limits equal? They equal 3. So as we approach 4, the limit is 3. Although it's defined at 4, the limit is 3 because that's what we're approaching. That We're approaching that y value of 3 as we get closer and closer and closer to this x value. Okay, for part C, it says find the limit of f of x as x approaches 1. So we're going to say limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x. We're going to look at 1, which is here. As we approach it from the right, we're getting a y value of 1, 2, 3, y value of 6. So we get equals 6. If we do the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x, we come from the left side, we also get 6. What is the function with an input of 1, not 6? What's the function with an input of 1? Right? Instead of finding the limit, what is it defined at 1? Well, in this case, it is. We get 7 minus 1, which is 6. So the limit in this case is exact same as it being defined there. So it's just meaning that, well, of course, we're going to get the limit to be 6 because it's defined at 6, and it's along this linear line here. So limit as x approaches 1 of f of x equals 6 because the left and right limits are equal. 